Hey, Budget Gardeners, Vita Loca here. Join me today as I show you the process that I go through for pricking out and transplanting some baby seedlings into six packs. So I have everything here to get me started with my transplanting. The first thing is I have some pre-moistened seed starting mix that I made myself. I posted a video recently showing you how to make your own seed starting mix, so please be sure to check that out. I also have a 10 by 20 tray with no holes in the bottom, so it's a solid tray, and it's filled with some six packs that we're going to be filling up together. And then finally, I have a restaurant to go container, and this has a bunch of seedlings that I started. They are the African Daisy Blue Disc. And I started these on March 28th. So the time has come to prick them out and transplant them. So let's do this together. I'm gonna to do this with some close up shots and I'm gonna show you how I go about this process. The first thing I'm gonna do is fill up my six pack here with some seed starting mix. The key is you wanna fill it up but you don't want to push too hard down onto the soil because you want the roots to be able to grow nicely without being in a, a seed starting mix or a soil that's too compressed and compact. I'm just barely pressing down. The next thing is I have a pen here and I'm using that as a dibber or something to be able to take the seedlings out. You can use whatever you like, but this has been working well for me. The next thing I'm going to do is just start pricking out or gently teasing out my seedlings. You want to be gentle and I'm not sure if you can see the roots on this seedling here. I'm going to go ahead and make a hole. I'm going to be very gentle with putting my seedling in and just pushing the soil around the seedling. And there, one's done. So let me go ahead and continue this process. Sometimes you can wait for your seedlings to have a couple of leaves on them, like the um, initial cotyledon leaves, as well as the first or second set of true leaves. But I have also had a lot of success transplanting my seedlings when they've just barely germinated. So test it out, see if that works for you. But this has worked for me, and since I have so many projects going on, I just want to get this one done and move on to my next project. One thing I want to point out is that many times when seedlings sprout, they might still have the hard coat or coating of the seed attached to the top of the seedling. Many times the seedling will naturally um, dislodge or remove its seed coating by itself. But there are times that the seedling won't do that. And if the, if the seedling has trouble and is not able to remove the, uh, the seed, uh, the, you know, the, the hard seed coating, then you want to help your seedling out. I did a little research on that, and it sounds like that is an issue that happens from time to time. And you can either wait it out and be patient, or you can help your seedling out. And what I learned during my research on that is your saliva, I know it sounds weird, but your saliva has natural enzymes in it that help your, uh, that help with removing that hard shell from the seedling. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do that. I'm just barely moistening my fingers with my saliva. 
and I'm just going to rub on the coating of that hard shell. Might take a few tries. Okay. So the seedling is perfectly fine and now it can actually open up and do what it needs to do to get it to be a bigger plant. Sometimes what I also do is before I actually put the seedling into the soil, sometimes what I also will do, which I found works just as equally fine, is before I actually go ahead and put the seedling into the soil, I will remove that hard shell from the plant. And there's our little seedling. I'm going to go ahead and plant the rest of these seedlings into the six packs, and I will show you what, I, what the progress is after I'm done with that. All done. I have about 54 seedlings here that have been transplanted. I pricked them out out of this container here. And there are still a few more seedlings left under the soil, but I'm just going to leave them there for now. And hopefully, I might be able to fill up this whole tray, which would give me 72 seedlings. But I'm happy with the amount that I have. There are a few things that I want to point out and mention some useful tips. Tip number one is if you want to save space under your grow lights, I highly suggest you grow uh, your seedlings in something like this. Any sort of container can do, but if you heavily sow your seeds into a container like this, it just saves so much room under your grow lights to start with. And then you can take your time and prick out the seedlings and put them into something like these six packs. My next tip is when you're pricking out the seedlings and putting them into something like a six pack, you want to plant your seedlings as deep as possible into the soil. That just makes sure that the seedling will have a nice strong uh, system or a plant to it as it grows. So that's another tip that I have. Another tip is to label your seedlings, and I've gone ahead and created one label here, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I like to use a garden marker. Those are, in my opinion, the best when it comes to labeling because it doesn't wear off as easily as something like a Sharpie when, when you're watering your seedlings and things like that, or you bring your plants out eventually to harden them off, and when it's raining out, a garden mar marker works really well. Another tip that I have is when you have your seedlings like this, you want to make sure that you put them back under your grow lights if that's what you're going to do. If they're going to go back under your grow lights, you want to make sure that the grow lights are about one to two inches above the seedlings. If the, the grow lights are higher than that, you will end up with very leggy seedlings. You want to have nice, strong seedlings. So make sure the grow lights are just barely above your seedlings. Also, when you water your seedlings, you definitely want to water from, from below. And so what I do is I will lift a couple of these six packs and I will pour the water in the bottom of the tray. 
and I might only fill up the the bottom of the tray with maybe about 20 or 30 percent full of water. You don't want to fill it all the way up to the top of the tray. Uh, you'll figure it out as your seedlings are getting bigger. They will need more water as the plants get bigger. And when it comes to fertilizing, my tip with fertilizing is to wait until the plants have the initial leaves on them, which are the cotyledons, and then one, if not two sets of true leaves after that. And when you do start fertilizing, you want to fertilize with half the strength of what's shown on the fertilizer, on the back of your fertilizer package. Another tip that I have is when you're, if you want to attempt to take off the hard coating off of your seedling, just do it with extra care and caution. You don't want to ruin or break the seedling. So if you don't feel comfortable with that step, it's not necessary, at least to start with, and see if the seedling can help itself. I hope you found this video useful. I'd love to hear from you. Please drop a comment below and let me know how your season is going with starting seedlings. Finally, make it a great day with gardening.